In this video, we're gonna be looking at the updated on running Cloud Flyer. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to 40 Rounds. Now, if this is your first time at 40 Rounds, I want you to smash that ping button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Rounds running community and check out the description. There's loads of cool things, including a link to where you can get these. Now, I've got a love-hate relationship with on-running shoes, so let's find out if I love or hate this shoe. Right, guys, so now if you're new to the channel, I've had on shoes before. Um, and I've really struggled with some and I've really liked others. Uh, in particular, there was a real issue in terms of quality. Uh, a lot of my shoes were rubbing out on the heel when I found, actually after I made that video, a lot of people were struggling with the same thing. Uh, the Cloud Boom, I don't really want to talk about because I just think it's one of the worst shoes of 2020. Um, but yeah, on running shoes in particular, quality doesn't sort of match up to the price tag. Uh, I did find though, in, in on running's defense, that with the cloud flow, I went down a size, changed the lacing, and I reduced the amount of wear in the heel. Uh, so that was the sort of formula that I worked on. So I wanted to get the cloud flyer. Uh, it's a neutral running shoe, which is a little bit more forgiving in the width. So I wanted to try it out to see what it was like um, in terms of you know other sort of daily training shoes out there. And uh, I've kind of been, what's the best way to describe it? Sort of impressed-ish, but then sort of let down as well. Uh, and we'll come on to it in a second. But let's start with the stats and the features like we always do. Now this shoe is 140 pounds, which is about in line with most on-running shoes. They are tend uh, they tend to be, sorry, uh, quite expensive, I think, for daily trading shoes. The shoe weighs in at just under 10 ounces, 9.88 ounces. It's got a seven mil drop. You've got um, midfoot stability, uh, a midfoot stability tube, sorry, which combines support with a gentle foot hugging feel. You've got an ultra lightweight engineered mesh upper, which has got this new airflow optimized pattern. Under the foot, you've got the Hellion and Clown Tech, which are combining for a lightweight uh, agility and heavy impact uh, protection, um, which sounds to me like marketing um, jargon. And I think that's about it. So really, what's the big updates versus the old version? So the big update really is the introduction of Helium, which has gone into most of their shoes, if not all of their shoes now, um, which is a compound that has made the shoe feel slightly softer. One big complaint from a lot of people, apart from the quality, is how sort of firm the ride is in uh, on running shoes, which is not a bad thing, because if you like a firmer ride, then you know the Cloud shoes are brilliant for that. Uh, but for a lot of people, they're just a little bit too firm. By adding in the Helion material, they've slightly softened it up, which has been uh, a big help. You can see this big sort of heel counter on here, which is kind of nice, which adds some stability in the shoe. Uh, like I said a second ago, they've uh, changed the, the pattern slightly with this new upper, which has increased the airflow. The upper actually is very good. It is very breathable. Uh, they still got the stupid laces. On running, do have the world's worst laces. They're not as big as like Reebok and, and some of the Hokers like the Clifton Edge, but they are stupid. They're so thin, they're just pathetic. Uh, it's got a nice bit of uh, foam around the heel area and around the ankle and the tongue. Uh, it's just that right amount, which is nice, it's comfortable. I really like the way that it cuts uh, away from the ankle. You don't get any heat spots around your ankle. And actually, in general, the fit, uh, is very good. It's nice and wide, this uh, shoe actually, the Cloud Flyer is very uh, wide and forgiving. What I would say is that I have dropped down to a UK 9. I always do in on running shoes. I, um, like I think I mentioned, is that for me to find the right fit to stop some of that heel slippage, I went down to a UK 
nine and that seems to work better for me so that is something to be aware of but it is nice and wide on the outsole you've got these strategically placed bits of rubber on the cloud techs um you do get the stones and stuff stuck in them i've cleaned them out for you today um so it doesn't look like it's been like chucked down the river but you do get obviously bits and bobs you've got the speed board in there uh like you do on most of the on running shoes now but there's plenty of uh, traction in there uh, the older pairs i did find that i was slipping around but these i don't uh and overall i think it looks a good shoe which is always nice but i do find that the on running shoes are more of a lifestyle shoe and i think that's uh where we're going to go with this the, these shoes suit some people right and some people really dig on running shoes and i get it right okay if, if that's something that suits you awesome and i'm all for it but for me obviously i review a lot of shoes i have a lot of shoes in my rotation i just think this is a bit of a nothing shoe and um yeah while it's a nice update on the previous version with the addition of helion i think there's so much better shoes out there for less money example uh the beacon uh, the beacon version three from new balance the prevail version two from new balance sockety ride 13 um what else evo ride from asics uh the atroya shoes the um uh, the nova blast from asics there's so many other shoes the, the brooks shoes the ghost 13 for example much better than this so there's so many other good shoes out there daily training good shoes at the moment that i just think this is more of a fashion statement now than anything else and that's the problem with on running i think they're so fashion conscious and all that sort of stuff that really as a, as a running shoe, there's just much better out there.